Do you want to create a sword aura like in anime? Let's do this. Open After Effects and create a new solid. Make it the size of the composition. The color can be gray. Using the rectangle tool, draw a mask on this layer. Something like a long rectangle. In the mask settings, increase the feather. And in mask expansion, reduce the mask area. Next, add the roof and edges effect. Set type to spiky, border to zero, lower the fractal influence and increase the scale around 200 works. Well, in stretch width or stretch height, stretch the effect a bit. For evolution, add a simple expression, you probably know this one, time times 100. This will make the aura constantly evolve and change. Now we want it to move upwards, so let's animate the offset parameter. At the beginning of the timeline, create a keyframe. At the end, I'm using the 10 second mark. Set the value to around negative 2000. Now we have flame-like shapes rising up. Let's duplicate the layer. Press T to reveal opacity and set it to 40%. Tweak the effect parameters a bit. Select the mask and use Ctrl plus T to transform it. Scale it up. Duplicate this layer again and move it to the top. We need to change the color. Go to layer next solid settings and set it to a lighter gray. This time make the mass smaller. Now it's starting to look like a proper aura. Duplicate the layer once more and change the color to white. Go into the mask settings and shrink it a bit more. Now duplicate the second to last layer again. On this one, we'll change more parameters in Raven edges. Set border to around 30. Scale to 100. Edge sharpness to 6 and reduce the stretch. Then reduce the mask size. Finally, move this layer to the bottom of the layer stack. Now, let's pre-compose all the aura layers into one composition. I have a few swords ready that will emit the aura from the blade. I'll add one of them to the comp, adjust its size and position it on the screen. To change the aura color, add the hue saturation effect. Enable colorize and use the sliders to shift the hue. You can also increase saturation to intensify the color. I'm also adding a curves effect to the aura to fine tune the look. For that final glow, I add deep glow. Change the layer's blending mode. For example, to linear light. If the aura is too big, adjust its scale to fit the sword.
Try experimenting with your own effects and don't forget to share your results. Take care. See you.